Just here. Just here. Just here. هو الأول لأن الألفا بدي يا بيها At this time, we would like to welcome Pastor Hector from the Crossing Church to say a few words. Scott. I'd like to say on behalf of our leadership, Pastor Greg and Pastor Cameron Dumas and our staff here, thank you for this opportunity. Dr. Berenger, Scott Mewson, Lindsay Vanderbilt. Can we just for a moment put our hands together for an amazing staff that has put all of this together? But I would also like for you to put your hands together for this class that's graduating today. I'd like to leave you with a little small piece of advice. Today is not the end. In fact, it's just the beginning. And I'd love for you to remember it this way. It's the beginning with no end. No one can hold you back unless you get yourself in the way. God bless you, thank you. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Ferringer, Principal of Bell Creek Academy. Welcome graduates, parents, faculty and members of the BCA family to the graduation ceremony of 2021. I am honored and thrilled to be here today. The worldwide pandemic has had unforeseeable consequences to our daily lives. Even the fact that we're sitting here today is a testament to the time and effort our parents and our staff have spent in making every effort to give the students a memorable graduation ceremony. I need to recognize the hard work of Lindsay Vanderbilt, Senior Advisor, Scott Musson, Athletic Director, Anna Greenwood, Assistant Principal, Jason Pfeffer, Assistant Principal, and the teachers who worked on their own time to ensure that this graduation ceremony would be extraordinary and memorable. Sitting before you are the students that entered Bell Creek Academy as sixth graders in 2014. For seven years, they had studied, cried, laughed, and learned at Bell Creek. They had made friendships and formed relationships that hopefully will last a lifetime. During your years at Bell Creek Academy, you've learned many things, but hopefully the most important thing that you've learned is to keep on learning, because that's exactly what you will have to do throughout your whole life. You will need to keep learning, keep growing, keep adapting to a world that is changing rapidly all around you. So it is my great hope for you that you have learned in your time at Bell Creek to love learning and take responsibility for your learning on your own, for growing yourself every day of your life, not just in school, but every single day. But that's not all. I hope that we have taught you to love learning. I also hope and believe that in our time together, you've learned how to care about and for other people. Think of the people sitting here whom you have learned to cherish. Learning to care about and for other people isn't the official curriculum, but it's something we teach nonetheless. Enjoy your freedom. We are fortunate enough to grow up in a free country where everyone can have access to a high quality education. I hope that in our civics and history classes, you have learned how rare and beautiful freedom is, how wonderful it is, and how much our ancestors sacrificed to make it possible for us. Every generation has to fight for it, to make sure it is preserved. I hope that is something you have learned as well. Pursue happiness. Your lifespan is just too short to be unhappy. Develop attainable goals and then plan those action steps to achieve those goals. We have given you the tools of problem solving and critical thinking. Now use those skills to fulfill your wants 
and your dreams. So that's my message to you here today. I hope you've learned to love learning, to care deeply for and about other people, to pursue your goals and dreams, to cherish and fight to maintain our precious liberty. Learning, love, happiness, and liberty. That is what I wish for you, for your children, and your children's children. We, the faculty, staff, and administration are so proud of you. Go forth with what you have learned and make us prouder yet. Use the tools we have taught you to create the future, a better future for us all. I know you. I have faith in you. You will do precisely that. I cannot finish this address without speaking about the faculty and the administration. Thank you to the teaching staff. Like any production behind the scenes, there's a huge effort going into each lesson. This year, the teachers were working in their classrooms with children and children who were home online. They had to play to two audiences and to keep track of two environments. I thank the parents for trusting us with their children and their great support over the years as we overcame challenges to opening a school during a worldwide crisis and providing that quality education for your child. And this makes me so proud. Congratulations to the Bell Creek Academy class of 2021. Your day is finally here. Thank you, Dr. Ferringer. At this time, we'd like to invite Cassidy Riemann, Vice President of Student Government, to introduce our keynote speaker. It's my honor to welcome Ms. Jennifer Jen to, to present to the class of 2020. Dr. Ferringer, distinguished guests, board members, staff, teachers, faculty, Lindsay, thank you for reminding me and holding me accountable. I really appreciate you. Parents, grandparents, family, and friends, it's truly an honor to be here to celebrate the Bell Creek Academy Class of 2021. Please accept my utmost respect and admiration for the grit, creativity, and perseverance that you all have shown during these unexpected times in education. I discovered a long time ago that the practice of giving my advice is not always the best. Actually, I believe people need my love and acceptance more often than any advice I have to give. Each of you will discover your path your own, this is I believe, in your own way. It will be uniquely yours. And for me, it was both exciting and terrifying. This morning I thought I would share with you a little bit about what I believe. I doubt that you'll hear anything today from me that will be transformative. I hope you find it to be thoughtful and maybe a little bit interesting. I believe. I believe success is not determined by my circumstances. Society and culture will always push us to have it all, to compare with those who have more. My friend Corey Abney told me the danger is not in having it. It's in the desire to always need more and want more. It's a moving target for success, and you can wear your out, yourself out trying to get it. I encourage you to not be concerned about what you have and more concerned about who you are. I believe this wouldn't be a graduation speech if I didn't talk about failure. <laughs> We've all heard it. Don't be afraid to fail. I don't know about you, but failure is a dirty word for me. No way, not me, not ever. Failure was not an option for my younger self. Somewhere along the way, I realized that failure isn't a part of my life. It's actually much of my life. 
I failed to meet a deadline. I failed to meet a revenue goal. Too often now, I fail to be patient with the people I love. I fail to listen instead of talk. Failure isn't a one-time event that I have endured. It's more like an ongoing reality that will make me better if I let it. If you want to fly, you have to fail. So fail trying. Don't fail watching. Don't be too hard on yourself when you do. The things that keep us from pursuing our dreams are often the failures and the letdowns we've experienced in the past. Don't let who you were decide who you're becoming. The fight with yesterday is over. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. It just means you can't change it. And don't let it matter so much anymore. Next time you fail something or someone, listen to the lesson it can teach you. It'll make you wiser and definitely far more gracious. I believe hard work and fortitude is a difference maker. Beautiful girl, you can do hard things. That's what I would tell my 18-year-old self. There was no shortcuts for me. I worked hard, period. I believed I could outwork anything, and I did. I took responsibility seriously, and I held myself accountable. I made sacrifices. Perseverance was my strategy. Hard work was my differentiator. Recently, I read on Facebook, so you know it must be true. <laughs> Actually, I believe it is. It said, the world isn't fair. The world isn't fair, but I can be. How often do we talk about people instead of talking to them? We make assumptions instead of gathering more data and seeking the facts. We take one side of the story when we know there are always two or maybe more. We forget that multiple things can be true at the same time. We act on our feelings or emotions when perhaps we could have taken a pause. I encourage you to learn how to resolve, con resolve conflict respectively, respectfully and to have courageous conversations by being kind and candid. I believe help and hope are everywhere. It's important to be vulnerable and humble enough to ask for help when you need it. You can't get there on our own and to be the help for others. Give generously and serve others. And there is always hope. I appreciate there's a lot to be concerned about these days, but there's more to be hopeful for. Whether it's as simple as the sun always rising to a fresh new day, or the hope for your very, very bright futures. Many times in my life, I stood all pretty and calm and strong on the outside, but full of fear and doubt on the inside. I prayed for answers, and I found hope instead. I believe you have to just show up for people. Most of us don't even have to try that hard to do it. Just be present with people. You, didn't, you don't need to know what to say when someone is sad or sick. They'll remember you were there. In times of great need and great joy, but mostly every time in between. One day I was packing up my office to move. I had just been promoted to the chief marketing officer of Dow Jones in the Wall Street Journal. A woman who worked in a different department on a different floor than me popped in and she said, she said, I wanted to come by to thank you. She began telling me a story. She said a few years back, she was having the worst day of her life. She ran into me in the hall. She, had, she said, I asked how her family was. How are your kids? And for some reason, I said, come on in for a few minutes and catch me up. To be honest, I did not remember the day she described. She went on to thank me for sharing, for being open with her about my anxieties. She had a different impression of me, one that was strong and always calm and so successful. She thanked me for listening when she talked about her husband and her kids. And then she said, you would not have known this, that I was in a very dark place that day. I planned to stop at the Tappan Zee Bridge instead of going home that night, but instead, I got the help I needed. The priceless gift she gave me that day is to be present. 
What can you do now to make a difference in your life or someone else's, to make it easier or better? Please show up for people. You never know when they're headed for the bridge instead of home for their family. I believe no matter how hard we try, we cannot fix or change other people. I can only change myself and watch what happens all around me. I can give what I need, compassion, kindness, mercy, empathy, grace, humility, and patience. I believe the words we say have tremendous power. Be careful about the ones you choose. Be impeccable to your own word. Do what you say you're gonna do. The word for that is integrity. At the end of the day, it's pretty simple for me. I believe in being a golden rule girl. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Hope for people what you hope for yourself. Most of all, believe in you. Don't let other people decide who you are. One of my favorite times of the year at work was always when the summer interns would arrive. Full of positivity, optimism, I can change the world energy that was truly contagious. contagious. It made me up my game. Now I'm pretty confident that it's quite possible that you, the Bell Creek class of 2021, will change the world. I encourage you to go for it. Don't just dip your toes in the water. Start running, grab your knees, and cannonball in. I will leave you with this. Whether you're off to university to serve our country in the military, to join the workforce, tech school, or just take a little time to figure it out. Remember, what you do is not who you are. Be what you believe. Be good humans. Ask for help. Serve others. Work hard. Fight for justice. Show mercy. Walk humbly. Be fair. Forgive yourself and others. Surround yourself with positive people. Be silly. See the, see the humor in life. Call your parents, especially, especially when you're having fun. Be grateful. Choose joy. Keep your mind, your hands, and your heart wide open. As my friend Bob Goss said, it's our character and our kindness not our qualifications that outlast us. So the class of 2021, in the words of Cinderella's mama, have courage and be kind. Congratulations. <laughs>
At this time, we would like, like the graduates to please, oh, sorry. We will now present the graduates of the class of 2021 with their diplomas. <laughs> Daniel Acevedo. Rams Aloui. Bo Orango. Dylan Ashlock. Olivia Baez. Dr. Ferringer will now present the graduates of the class of 2021. As I watch you walk by, I'm thinking, I'm going to miss these students. I'm going to miss saying goodbye, have a great day at the crosswalk. Parents, faculty, admin, please join me in congratulating the, in congratulating the graduating class of 2021 and the switching of the tassels. Please switch your tassels. You are now a graduate. to celebrate this momentous occasion for the Bell Creek Academy class of 2021. Please allow the graduates to recess and meet them in the lobby. Graduates, please exit to the cafe to get your diploma. And we'd like to congratulate the Bell Creek Academy class of 2021 one last time.
Latay. Claro. Oh, okay. Huh? Ah, hindi nak Latay. Ah, I just took it off. Mm -hmm. huh. Hold it. from the videos. Video. I will take yeah. Oh. Say it, say it. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I would just spell with an A, it's just ah. Yeah. Congrats, Rob, so you're ah, an adult. Not. Hopefully, Mama will let you leave by yourself now. Ew, what are you doing? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Allah, you're the ank. ويفتح لك أبواب رزقهم من حيث لا تحتسب. وليحبب خلق الله فيك. ألف مبروك. التخرج. وكل عام وأنت في القمة مع الأوائل نحبك جميعا. Yeah. Like it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally qualified. <laughs> That's cool. What is this, a rock? <laughs> You're gonna love it, smell it. <laughs> it's like that. Hurry up. I know. Hell. Go. What? Do you like it? I'll take it. How much? How much? I don't need to know how much. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's the bag?